Greetings to all. The project that we've taken up as a team is called Identification of Flora Species with UAV. So our team members are Deeraj Reddy, Harshita Jagdish, Pranav K and myself, Vaibha Varshini. So let's begin with the project. So uh, due to the rapid growth of technological advances, as well as the rapid pace of climatic change, there's a need to monitor its impact on forests. These effects include reduced growth, stunted growth of trees, and ultimately deforestation. So tree identification will be a way to keep the number of trees per species above a certain limit to avoid deforestation. So the identification of trees is important in reducing the rate of deforestation in India. So the need of the project. The rapid change in climate has an effect on the growth of trees, which eventually in the long term would lead to deforestation. Thus, forest monitoring is essential to keep an eye on the vegetation. Thus, tree identification and the count of tree species is important in managing forest idea and reducing deforestation. The aim of this project is to identify tree species using the images captured from the drone with the help of neural networks and machine learning in a cost-effective manner and in a way that requires less human intervention. Uh, the procedure that goes into implementing this solution is to build a UAV that is capable of capturing images from high altitudes. This UAV is equipped with an onboard dedicated embedded system that runs a classifier model to identify trees in real time. So the implementation has been realized in the following steps. Data set pertaining to the features to be extracted is created. A neural network model is designed and trained with the data created. The model is deployed and tested under different use cases in real time. Training data set and a validation data set is created. Now the training data set is created by taking the images of the mango tree using the camera which is fitted onto our drone. And the validation data set is a small part of our training data set. Now these data sets will have two classes. One is a mango class and other is a not mango class. So the mango class will have only mango leaf pictures used for training. And the non-mango class will have other leaves as well. Now we are training the model by giving the number of layers, the, the number of neurons in each layer, etc. And the greater number of epochs will give us a greater accuracy. Now to test the model, we have um, connected the uh, webcam of our laptop. Now, a spacebar key would take screenshots of the picture, whereas an escape key would give us the uh, it would it will escape from the uh, monitor, the window, the camera window. Now let us run this module of code. Test the data set. Uh, we have connected the camera, and if picture, I mean, if the mango images are taken. Uh, if the pictures of the mango images are taken using the spacebar key. Now I'm clicking the spacebar key twice. So two pictures are taken. Now let me escape this window and run this code. This code will push all the images that are taken uh, to the uh, testing data set. Now if we run the testing data set, now, OpenCV images are the images that were taken uh, from the camera. And I, I had already inserted two other images, which were not mango images. Now, you can see that the test, uh, the camera images give us that it's a mango tree, whereas the other images give us a non-mango tree. Uh, to conclude, uh, we can say that this model gives us about 100% accuracy uh, with the model that we've trained, with the data set that we've trained and tested.